Oh my god, this daredevil, this daredevil. Literally one wrong step and my gravestone's gonna be getting ready. I don't know if you saw a guy that were trying to literally push him. Really? Oh like... yeah, he was so scared. I guarantee there's a snake in that hole. This is actually one of the best views I've ever seen in yeah, my entire life. Without question. Without question. I agree with you. I just finished exploring the Hoover Dam, which is right behind me. And it just so happens the Hoover Dam is at the border of the states of Arizona and Nevada. And just about an hour drive up ahead is another amazing human marvel. Not so much human, this one is a natural marvel in the Grand Canyon. So join me as we go and see the greatest hole in the world. Hey, how you doing, sir? Any pets, alcohol, weapons, or drones? No, sir. Make a right here. You go in the big white dome. Get big white. Take it to the information there and have one for that. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Well, I have made it. As the sun is starting to come down, it's about 4:30 p.m. right now, and there is the Grand Canyon in all its glory. This place is massive, man. I'm kind of regretting not taking a helicopter tour. I really do think that would have been a really cool experience, but I think it's too late for that now. So I'm not gonna dwell on that. I'm gonna go and try to make the best of what's ahead of me. You should talk about it. That's it? I'll take one grand package, please. Yeah. I'll help you over here, okay? All right, I got the grand package. Hey, how are you? Yes, sir. Right there. Thank you. All the way down to the bottom, and the bus will be back to pick you up. Thank you. All right. So now I am going to wait for the bus that's going to take me further into the canyon. There are, of course, a lot of animals here. Two of the ones I'm most fearful of right now are the rattlesnake and the Gila monster. The rattlesnake speaks for itself, but the Gila monster. It's a lizard that's poisonous, one of only two poisonous lizards on the planet. And it's got these orange stripes on it. And if I see one, I'm gonna kick that thing right away. I mean, I'm gonna punt that thing for all it's worth. I'm gonna just, boom! Don't fuck with humans, bro. Like, we are the top of the food chain. Don't mess with us. Lizard, a snake, a bug, I don't care what you are. Hey, how you doing, sir? Is the right or the left side better for a view? Front seat's best? Okay, I'll sit up there. Yeah, I, I will definitely take that off. Awesome, we get the right shotgun. Thank you. Let's go, baby. And uh, this is the best time of day to be up here. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome, looks like, it, looks like I'm gonna... You got shadows coming back. It's really, it's really nice. Looks like it came at the right time. Yeah. I was at the Hoover Dam earlier and I was kind of worried I wasn't gonna make it here on time. And on the drive here, like when I first saw the canyon, I was grinning from ear to ear. Coming I was like, up. Yeah, just you coming can up. Kind of see it. Yeah. This is incredible. It. And right now, what we're looking at is the other side. How far is the drive from here to there? Uh, we're three minutes away. How long have you been working here, sir? I came up here working on these roads, uh, building this road. Uh, you know, truck and uh, the road coming up here, that used to be all dirt road. Wow. And uh, decided to get out of the truck for a while, and eight years went by. Eight years, eh? But I still, I still mess around with truck. Are you from Arizona? No, uh, California. California. Very nice. I'm from Canada and there Canada. we have... Yeah, you got a lot of lakes there. We have a lot of lakes. Yeah. No deserts though. It's actually yeah. my first time seeing deserts and yeah. they drive up here, I was seeing cacti. Yeah. Like they were everywhere. Yeah, I love the desert. Oh my goodness. Because you get the view in the desert. Oh, oh. oh my God. What yeah. are the chances of me running into like a rattlesnake or like a Gila monster around not, here? Not up here. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Appreciate it.
Oh my God. Holy crap. I'm gonna get all the way up to the chain. Oh, gotta watch my footing here. You can't look over too far. This is probably like not even 1% of the canyon. It's obviously impossible to tell through the camera, but the air quality here is actually one of the cleanest in the entire world. Because, well, humans haven't really been able to do any polluting to this area whatsoever. It's just a giant canyon. And no one's even sure how old this place really is. The consensus is 70 million years old, so your grandma is probably a little older than that, but yeah, about 70 million is what scientists think. And it's just insane. We are looking at history right now. I mean, dinosaur times. This thing was probably a flat land with a little river running through. And then the Colorado River over millions of years eventually wore all that rock down. And now it's the Grand Canyon. If I was younger, I may be tempted to go walk to that ledge right there and peer down. Luckily, I'm not young anymore. <laughs> I'm a little older, a little wiser. Still on the look. Oh, I see a lizard. Little tiny lizard right there. Very small. On that rock. Oh, it's moving. There it is. He's not worth punting. Oh, I see a second one right there. Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to punt you. There he is. What's up, buddy? Yeah, he's enjoying himself. That's not a Gila monster, thankfully. That's like a little gecko trying to save me 15% on my car insurance. There is the river. You can see the river from here. It's way in the distance. It's brown water. That river is what caused all of this. trying to take as many deep breaths as possible. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna get air this clean will be. <sighs> There's a bit of a hint of waffle smells. I'm assuming people are making waffles somewhere in that building. And it's a mix of waffle and nature. How you doing, sir? Doing good, sir. Fantastic. Uh, so they don't allow personal items on the skywalk. They literally got a photo of a GoPro right there and phones. Thank you. I just got off that skywalk and that was actually one of the most anxiety filled experiences of my entire life. You can't see it from here, but about half the floor is completely see through. So you look down and you're looking down into the canyon. You're about 4,000 feet from the air. And if you fall, it takes 11 seconds to actually hit the ground. So you're going to have actually clarity before you hit the ground. It makes it that much worse. Luckily, I did uh, buy the photo package where the man actually took a lot of photos of me, of me just posing on the canyon. I actually walked in and I'm like, I'm done after like five minutes. But a part of me was like, nah, get back out there, man. This is safe. This is part of the experience. You paid for this, it's exhilarating. And I went back out there and I just walked around the skywalk a few times. I was probably out there for a total of 15 minutes, I would say. Just kind of looking down and trying to soak it all in, trying to get over my fear of heights. And I think I actually did a pretty good job. By the end of it, I was very comfortable being on there. I heard a few creaks when I was there too. It really scared me, but that's all part of the experience also. You guys were out there? I'm gonna be doing it. Um, see if it's 20 bucks, yeah. That's what I was just told. Honestly, I think it's very well worth it, man. I was so scared to be out there at first, but then after like five minutes, I kind of got used to it. And then they have like- That's it, all it was at the Sears Tower. So like I've been on top of the, uh, top of the Sears Tower and they have a skywalk. They have oh, like yeah? big boxes that sit uh, 15 feet outside, uh, outside the building. Top floor, dude. Bro, I don't know how the employees who literally work there 10 hours a day, I don't know how they do oh it. Oh my God, no. There's no like- uh, like there is on the side the glass is polished so like you don't see down but the middle of the walkway is completely see-through now that's sweet I'll yeah, yeah. That. it's insane hey, go do it man dude. enjoy it guys have a good one so now i am gonna go to the other viewpoint i think it's called guanmo point they were talking about an employee on the skywalk was also telling me about it guanmo point so i'm gonna go now and wait for the bus to take me there that is it oh 
I thought I saw a snake. I was getting ready to punt, but no, it's okay. The foot of fury will not be used today. These are just really weird, interesting looking plants. If there was a plant invasion and they took over the world, these would be the antagonist plants. Like trees would be the Autobots of plants. And then these shrubs are looking like the Decepticons. What'd you guys think of that thing? Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty yeah, cool. It's awesome. Did you like it? Yeah, I was so scared at first, man. Oh, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, I, I got used to it a little bit. And then I'm like, I can't leave here and not take this experience exactly, in. Yeah. I saw a guy, they were trying to literally push him. Cause really? Oh, yeah, like... he was so scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he didn't want to go in. Oh, poor guy, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, guys, have a good one. I know. Oh my God. Okay, they weren't lying when they said this is the best that's gonna be coming up. There's no barrier. There is no barrier, oh my God. If you fall, it's GG, well played. Oh my God. Whoo. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Let's keep walking along the edge here. I don't care what anyone says, everyone here has massive balls. <laughs> Everybody. We, we just walked all the way through it yesterday, so we walked from the north rim to the south rim yesterday. Really? 23.9 miles in one day. How was that? Cooling? I don't think I'll walk right for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> my calves are absolutely killing me. 23 miles? Point nine. Oh my god, that's yeah, insane. Point nine, okay, point nine yeah. It's, <laughs> <laughs> that, must be, that must have been the hardest part of it, actually, it if you think about that. Is that why you're waddling right now? Yep, that's why I can barely walk. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just enough, if you fall, you die. That's just, that's enough, I think, yeah. <laughs> At that point, it doesn't matter. Oh man, you are so on the edge. Oh my god, bro. You're crazy, man. Look at this daredevil. No, 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 no. Oh my god, this daredevil. This daredevil. Take it like this. That's too sad. Could you get one of me too? Thank you so much, guys. Where are you guys coming from? We're from Missouri. Missouri? We're still going down. We went down for almost 13 miles. Jesus. I don't want to put my glasses on because I think this is a view that's meant to be experienced without sunglasses. And the guy was right. The sun is behind us right now. If it was morning, I would need sunglasses because I'd be looking right there where the sun would be coming up from. I mean, I've seen mountains before, but I've never seen a valley like just going down. Another hour or so later. Oh, wow. You got another, the entire thing. sunrise. <laughs> I'm old, dude. I'm 52. Uh, you're, no, you're not 52. Yes, Don't lie to me. Oh, I'm not lying. I thought you were like 38, man. <laughs> no, oh. You age very gracefully. You're a legend, man. Good for you, man. Good for you. 52 years old, you're killing it. I've been married 31 years. I got a 26 year old and a 24 year old. <laughs> so, yeah. so, what's the secret to aging as gracefully as you've been aging? The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. There you go, guys. Joy of the Lord. Joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strength. <laughs> And nature, right? Just be out in nature a lot. I don't, I don't hold things too closely. None of it's mine, so I don't have a lot of worries. Um, I bought a business in December. I burnt down in April. Oh, and I'm wow. still smiling and still enjoying life. Good man. Satan can't take my joy, take everything else, but it's not mine, it's his. And he's not attacking me, he's attacking him. So I'm not worried about it. And I don't stress and get all worried and twisted about things. And it truly, if you can learn to truly be relaxed like that, you don't stress out, you don't get all gray. I mean, 52, only a little bit of gray here and here. Wow, amen, man. You're a legend, Nicholas. You are a legend. It's so quiet here. I can almost hear my own thoughts with how quiet it is. There's no city sounds, no cars, no helicopters right now. It's incredibly peaceful out here. This might be one of the best views of this entire place. Wow. My first time here. This is his second time. He's the one who's been telling us about this. Oh, yeah? We've been to Grand Canyon, but that was 20 years ago. It's like you're the other side. Oh. oh, the river is very nice from here. You can see it very well from here. Yeah, you can see the river. Over there, though, like the stream. 
Oh. Oh, this is so much higher though. It's so much deeper here. Oh my God. That's incredible. It's dry down there. Yeah, see that little stream or river? Guys, this is actually one of the best views I've ever seen in my entire life. Without question. Without question. I agree with you. Wow. Oh, we can go all the, all the way to the top of that thing? I guess. Oh, okay. I'm gonna watch my steps everywhere as I go. Literally one wrong step and my gravestone's gonna be getting ready. This is a dangerous hike. <laughs> Man, you are crazy. This guy is insane. <laughs> this guy is insane. <laughs> He's like, heights? Nah, they don't scare me. Oh, that's doable. Okay. Woo. Let's go, baby. Woo. We got to keep climbing. I guarantee there's a snake in that hole. Oh, God. Just stay in there for now, buddy. Man. I just had a... I got to pause and relax for a second. I am in the middle of the Grand Canyon right now, man. Life is crazy. Wow. Oh, that's dangerous. It's a very dangerous thing. If you fall, you're pretty much GG'd. I'm not trying to get GG'd right now from this. I'm gonna stay as far away from that ledge as I can, little by little. No snakes, no lizards, no animals, please. Oh, this is the top. The top of the Grand Canyon. How you guys doing? Yeah, good. Amazing, man. Yeah. It's impossible to feel bad if you're up here. Yeah, yeah, second time. Second time? Yeah. Wow. Last year, last year. Last year? Is this the best part of the canyon, would you say? Yeah. That right there is where we got dropped off. Life is so crazy, man. I think getting down is going to be harder than coming up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to start making my descent now, but I'm going to turn the camera off because I'm not risking nothing. So I'll see you guys when I get down there. Okay, I made it back down. Oh, coming back down was so much harder than going up. But man, this is one of the coolest experiences of my entire life. I mean, this is... Wow. I'm at a, truly a loss for words. I mean, this view, <sighs> wow. Driving in, you only see the top part. So, you, so this part here, you don't see anything below my hand. You only see the part right there. And now when you come in, you see all of it in all its glory. It's incredible. I guess miners used to work here. I don't know exactly what they were mining. Probably some kind of, I, I guess, gold or silver or some kind of ore, obviously. This thing is no longer in service. I guess they would come in here, suit up, walk through, and then go down from this part. People who lived back in the day had such bigger balls than anyone today does to descend into valleys like this. I just want to quickly walk down there. Man, it still doesn't feel real. This is the Grand Canyon. I actually have a bit of a confession to make. I've been wanting to come here since I was in grade five. In grade five, me and my classmate, a guy named Cameron Freeman, we did a project on Arizona. The entire class had to do a project on one state and somehow we chose Arizona or it was given to us, I don't remember. But I remember that's when I first learned about the Grand Canyon and all that it was. And it's called the Grand Canyon State. Though obviously this is a very, very big cultural place too. That was about 18 years ago I've wanted to come here. And today is that day, man. I am 100% gonna come back here one day. Definitely do a helicopter tour. I mean, that view is... Yeah, so the miners, they would rappel past this and then down here. It'd be hard to do so with the weight of the giant balls these guys possess. You can still see the hooks in the ground right there where they would tie the ropes that would, they, they would use to rappel down. There's a second one way there in the distance. Man. 
it is so eerily quiet here. And it's gonna be nightfall soon. I definitely don't wanna be here when that happens. I imagine at nighttime, this place is nowhere near as glamorous. This seems like the perfect place to call it for this video. This has been amazing. One of my favorite videos that I've did in the last four years. Another item off the bucket list and I could not be happier. Allegiance, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you guys next time.